Hey guys, how are you doing? It is Monday night and I have something on my heart. I will try, try, try to, to say what I'm trying to say. I don't know if it'll come out right. I don't want it to come out as whiny or boastful or, or anything like that. I just, I'm, trying to encourage you guys tonight. Um, I've been a little discouraged lately and I need to get my head screwed on straight. So I'm going to talk to you guys about what is, um, what is going through my, my thought processes right now. And, and, uh, so when it comes to losing weight, a lot of times it's a lot of mental game. Um, I have lost from my highest weight about 100 pounds. I still have about 35 to go and I'm kind of stuck there. I haven't moved the scale in six months. I'm not losing inches. I'm not losing pounds. I'm just maintaining. Is this the set point that my body wants to be at? Maybe. Is this where I want to be at? Not really. I will tell you when I look in the viewfinder at this uh, video right now, what I see is my chins. Yep, I see them, my fat chins, see? And probably even if I were to lose those 35 pounds, that chin wouldn't go away. It's hereditary. It's what my mom's neck looks like. It's what my sister's neck looks like. It's what my dad's neck's neck looks like. So I have to be okay with it. And I'm I'm trying to come to terms with that. I'm also trying to understand what my size is. I think that when you are heavy for a very long time, you don't see your body the same way. When I was at my heaviest, I did not see that my body was as big as it was. And now that I've lost weight, I don't see my body as small as it probably is. And so I'm working on that. Um, one thing that prompted me about this is um, I watched some vi videos on YouTube, just like everybody. And um, I've seen somewhere, you know, they test out this exercise or that diet or, or whatever for a month. And then they tell their before and after their results. They show their pictures and all of that. And, you know, you've seen those before. And you're looking at these people and you're going, but you're skinny to begin with. You're super skinny. Why do you need to lose any more weight? You know, they're probably a size 8 and or less. And, you know, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? And I can remember one of the videos I saw, it was probably about six months or so ago. And in that video, they were doing like a HIIT workout um, every day to see how it would change, when it changed their, their bust or their waist or their legs or anything like that. And on that video, the one person had lost an inch around her thighs and her thighs were now 21 inches. And so I was like, well, I wonder how close I am to that because I still feel, I grew up and I had thunder thighs, you know. Uh, even my mom would say, oh, I'm so sorry that you got my thighs. My thighs are huge. I've known that forever. And so that's one of the things that my calves I'm very, very sensitive about. And I feel like they're just enormous and huge. And when she said her thighs were 21 inches, I said, okay, well, let me grab my tape measure and see where I am, how many more inches I have until I'm as small as her. And when I measured my thighs, they were 21 inches. I was shocked. I was like, no, that can't be right. I tried it again and, and I, you know, did it about midpoint up my thighs. So I think that's a very 
good way, good place of doing it. And, uh, and it really surprised me. And I told my daughters at that time, I was like, no way. And I measured my middle daughter's thigh at the same time. And she was 21 inches. And my, my daughters are tiny. They have no weight issues. And, um, I, I consider them very slim and thin and gorgeous, of course, because I'm mom. And to f the fact that my thighs were the same size as hers blew my mind. I couldn't believe it. And she was like, well, yeah, mom, I told you you were skinny. Hello. And I was like, yeah, but I'm not skinny. I, I just, I couldn't connect the dots in my mind. And I'm still having problems connecting those dots. And then about a week or two ago, I saw another video. And what they were doing was they were doing squats, uh, 100 or 400 squats a day to see how it would shape their buns or their legs or whatever it, it, whatever it would do. And so they took the measurements before and the measurements after. And like I said, my legs, I'm always really sensitive about them. And when they were giving their results, the one person was very excited because their calves had gone up an inch to 16 inches. My calves are 16 inches. If this little tiny skinny person is excited about having 16 inch calves, I don't understand it. I, I don't get it. I look down at my legs in the shower or when I'm just standing there in a pair of shorts or something like that. And I just, my calves look enormous to me. They just look huge. I know that my calves are muscular and they're solid as a rock and that's great and everything, but I've always hated them because they're so big. And the fact that this skinny little person was excited that their that their calves grew to 16 inches and my calves are 16 inches <laughs> actually my left calf is 16 my right calf is 15 and a half I don't know so I'm trying to understand perspective and trying to be a be okay with body image and size and stuff like that and one thing that I've been doing and I don't think it's helping me any is I've gone back to some of my big t-shirts. Uh, this is one of them. And I don't know if you can see, this is shoulder seam to shoulder seam. This is a 2X. This is enormous on me, but I've been wearing it for a week along with leggings and sweatpants and other stuff because I'm just feeling very huge lately and I know that I'm not as big as I think I am. I bought a t-shirt or a shirt for a business trip I have to make next week and it was a size extra large because I knew it would fit. I have big boobs. I know an extra large will fit. And I wore it for Mother's Day, and in the pictures, I hated it. I did. I I hated it. It looked huge on me. It looked like I did 100 pounds ago. At least that's how I felt at the time. So that's what I'm struggling with this week. Actually, I've, it's been about two or three weeks that I've been struggling with that. And I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that you're not alone, that when it comes to losing weight, sometimes we don't understand or see the progress because we've got such a distorted view of where we were and where we are. And no matter what somebody tells us, our brain still, we just can't, we can't always see our progress. And... I know that I'm making progress. I'm I'm more often in tens in pants and larges in shirts. I've even got some some medium shirts and some size eight pants. Um 
But then again, this past week, I bought a couple of size 12 pants. Of course, they were from Goodwill instead of brand new, so maybe that's part of it. But, you know, don't, don't feel bad. You're not alone. We have our good days. We have our bad days. And understanding how our bodies look, even two and a half years after losing most of our weight, it's still a struggle some days. But um, I know that with you guys that we'll figure it out. We'll get it together and, and we'll support each other. We'll give each other a reality check. I want you guys to give me a reality check any time you want. Please, please let me know if you think that um, you're surprised by some of the measurements that you've taken or if um, you're disappointed in some of the measurements you've taken. I'll tell you what, my stomach hip area, I have not changed inches in that area in over a year and that's really frustrating I can see changes but the measurement is not changing so and I haven't had a new pair of pants in a year you know so it's really it becomes a real mind game and I feel like I'm really rambling at this point so I'm gonna try and wrap it up and just say guys you are not alone with how you see yourself. Some days you will have good days where you feel hot and sexy and skinny and just all that. And then there's going to be days or even weeks like it has been for me where you just feel huge. And, and that's okay. It is all right to feel that way. Just keep working towards recognizing where you are in relation to where you have come from because you've made progress you're doing great and it's and you're going to continue to make progress if i never lose another pound um i can be happy with where i am i am the same size or just about the same size i was when we got married and that in itself i mean 25 years ago almost October it'll be 25 years so you know I think that's pretty good and I need to try to remember that because I think that we're always too hard on ourselves and we expect ourselves to look like that perfect little picture of what we're supposed to look like and we're all perfectly imperfect and that's an awesome thing so I'm sorry if I rambled a little bit tonight, and uh, I hope that you have a good rest of the week. And if you see the sparkle in my eye, every now and again it hits. Um, it's because I have a light over here on my desk, and about nine years ago, I had double cataract surgery. So you will see the reflection of my cataract implant every now and again in the right light. And I don't know if you can see it right now, but that's what that is. Um, people ask me all the time about it in person. So I just wanted to let you guys know that's what that is. So anyway, um, I hope that you guys have a good week and you start realizing that um, getting a better grasp on, on where you are in your progress and your journey and, and enjoying where you are right now and where you've come from. So... I will talk to you guys later. Bye.